you Penvalin here. Hello, Mr. Penvalin. This is Nancy Drew. I'm the one who's visiting Linda. You know, from the United States, across the pond. Yes, of course. Are you at Blackmore? Yes, I am, and I've talked to Linda. Good for you, because frankly, that's something I've been quite unable to do lately. These temper tantrums of hers make rational discourse well nigh impossible. How long have these tantrums been going on? Ever since I left for Italy. We'll be talking on the phone about the weather or Jane's lessons or something equally innocuous, and suddenly she'll be bellowing at me and slamming the phone down. Are you sure you didn't inadvertently say something, you know, argumentative? I promise you, these rages of hers are totally uncalled for and quite unbearable. I love her dearly, but she is making things very difficult. I understand that Mrs. Drake is your aunt? Yes, Aunt Letitia. We're not very close, however. She's always been rather aloof, much more interested in being a Penvalin than a person, if you know what I mean. She seems kind of irritable. That's putting it mildly. But then I imagine she's feeling a bit insecure. She's getting on in years and she's alone and she's totally dependent upon me. Financially, that is. Although there is the six-month habitation clause. The what? According to the Penvalin rules of inheritance, the spouse of Blackmore Manor's current owner... That would be Linda, since I'm the current owner. The spouse of the current owner must reside in the manor for at least six months. Should she or he leave the manor before six months is up, ownership of one half of the estate immediately passes to the next legal heir. And that would be Mrs. Drake. Correct. I met your daughter Jane. Quite the bundle of energy, isn't she? I get the feeling that she's a little lonely. I'm sure she is, what with a private tutor instead of school and Linda being under the weather. And coming back to Blackmore no doubt reminds her of her real mother. Renee and I were divorced almost two years ago. Jane went into a bit of a tailspin for a while, but she's come to adore Linda. She's been calling her mummy since the day we were married. Have you spent much time on your father's computer, the one that's in the library? I dare say I've never touched it. Mathematics, computer science, linguistics, all the things that fascinated my scholarly father bored me to tears. He gave up on me quite early on. With Jane, however, it was a different story. What do you mean? From the day she was born, my father doted on her, far more than he ever doted on me. Read to her, bought her books, games. Truth be told, I was a bit jealous. He passed away when she was still a toddler, so it's unlikely she remembers all the attention he showered on her. But I do, and I still find it so out of character as to be mystifying. It was nice talking to you. This is an extremely busy time for me, so I apologize in advance if you call and I'm unavailable. I understand. Good. Cheerio.